welcome to Happy Hungry Hippie. Here I am to entertain you. This week we are covering the extraordinary vinegar. Vinegar? Yes, vinegar. Right then, welcome to Happy Hungry Hippie. What I'm going to bring you this week is an absolutely amazing cookbook review. It's not just a cookbook, but it's an insight into the world of vinegar. It is the one only the vinegar cupboard. And this is by Angela Cluton, and it is an absolutely incredible book. It's not just got very good recipes in here to look at making your own vinegar, but also an insight into the history the culture and how we've evolved with, with the use of vinegar. It's something that is completely underrated and how this absolutely incredible food can actually transform recipes and dishes. And it's got so many functional purposes. I do also really like Sour by Mark Diacano. Absolutely amazing. That actually brought me to really delve into, into vinegar a lot more. Vinegar in French, means vin agar so the words are put around differently back to front agar meaning sour and vin meaning wine so vinegar in the, the french terminology means sour wine and in essence you can make vinegar from anything so there's an element of this which is not always true so vinegar can be made from pretty much anything where there is sugar so you can you can make vinegar from many different food products not just wine i've got some examples here and also some examples of the things that i've been making my very own wine vinegar here and i've also been making some Banana vinegar. Yes, yeah, sounds extraordinary. So I'm going to come on to that later. Yes, yeah, so please do stay with me to the very end where I can actually show you some of the examples of things that I've been making and how to go into that. But coming back to this book, it's absolutely amazing. It's an absolutely essential book to have. It was a winner of the 2018 Jane Grigson Award. I give this a solid 10 out of 10. So just giving you a quick insight of the book, I just love the illustrations. Look at this, all the different types of vinegars you can have. The introduction of this is in incredible. Love the demonstrations and the charts to show you. It pretty much categorizes vinegar into four different types. So you've got your extracted and infused vinegars. You've got your fruit and your balsamic vinegars. You've got your sherry, wine and cider vinegars and there's been lots of science and popularity is in particular with raw apple cider vinegar, which I'm going to get onto a bit later. So please do stay with me. And then last but not least is the grain vinegars. And each four of these different types of vinegars give you a different pH level and a different functional purpose. Whether you're trying to pickle something or preserve something in that sense. The, the chapters of this is what is vinegar? Vinegar through history. How is vinegar made? Vinegar and health. I really like this topic. Through ancient times, we absolutely do know there are health benefits of vinegar. And lots of science on apple cider vinegar as well. And then it goes through the vinegar and the tasting wheels. You've got to really understand how this can transform a dish. Tasting and storing vinegars. Vinegar in the kitchen. Matching vinegars and their uses and sauces and finishing a dish, absolutely something we really do not use enough of. So culturally, vinegar has been used globally. As you can see here, it has its many uses and discoveries and pretty much over a timeline, vinegar has been discovered through different ancient cultures and civilizations, right back to the Chinese and the Japanese, you know, way before Christ, then obviously, you know, more recently into the European civilization as well, in particular France and Spain and Italy. And then you've got more vinegars that have been made from, from fruits in sort of tropical areas as well, where they've used pretty much anything they can get their hands on from like banana to even coconuts. So vinegars and also fermented food was discovered way back, at least 4,000 years before Christ, right back to 
the days of the Egyptians. But there's a lot of undiscovered vinegars out there and we are pretty much only really use apple cider vinegar and malt vinegar in this country as we do on fish and chip. That's how it's traditionally known within the UK. Yes, the balsamic vinegar is popular, more so when we're using Italian cuisine. Fermentation and making vinegar worked hand in hand. If you leave wine and beer further through that fermentation process, it will eventually turn into vinegar. And pretty much what happens is the alcohol and the sugar gets turned into acetic acid. And that's pretty much how vinegar works. Key principles of making vinegar really is quite simple. Vinegar is made from alcohol. Alcohol is made from fermented sugars and yeast. But it is the addition of two things to alcohol that makes vinegar. And that is one, something called AAB. That is acetic acid bacteria, AAB. And number two, together with alcohol, what you need is oxygen. Here you have red wine. And what I'm doing here is I'm adding a little bit of the end of the red wine of anything that I drink. That has got the alcohol in, but then also with the natural bacteria found and also the oxygen and the air from the top of this is going to create the vinegar. So there's really 10 different benefits it brings. So I'm just going to cover that. I'm going to put this down aside. So number one, it helps with your blood pressure. Number two, detoxification. Number three, your blood sugars. Number four, your gut health. So with the key bacteria. In particular, when you bring talk about the mother, that brings in probiotics, which is good for your gut health. Five, amino acids, building blocks, proteins. Number six, it's an antibacterial substance, which can be used for many different things, whether it's cleaning wounds or even cleaning surfaces as a cleaning agent. Number seven, arthritis. Number eight, cholesterol. Number nine is colds and flus. And number 10, Last but not least, skin and hair. Something that they've used vinegar for, for, for absolutely centuries. I really do also like how it explains to you the tasting notes and how to really, you know, taste vinegar in a, in a very expert way. Vinegar isn't just something that is just an acid. It's something that has got real different flavor profiles and also to bring out the best flavors of different recipes and different foods. Another part of this book, which is absolutely fabulous, is actually the matching vinegars for their uses. And I really love how it shows all the different types of vinegars and how you can use them and their versatility. So fruit vinegars, balsamico traditional, balsamic vinegar of Medina, which is obviously the signature balsamic vinegar, of it. sherry vinegar, red wine vinegar, white wine vinegar, apple cider vinegar, got Japanese vinegar, Chinese black vinegar, and then you've got malt vinegar, maple and honey vinegars, coconut, palm and sugar cane vinegars, and then vinegar infusions. Now we are up to the part of the book where it covers all of the recipes, starting off right with the basic vinaigrette and the infusion of vinegars, as I've just mentioned, from things from cider and honey, rice vinegar and tahini all the little ideas but from there it goes right into making sauces this one looks absolutely incredible and i've actually covered a recipe which do check out is actually the elderberry pontac sauce it then covers fruit and the balsamic vinegars now it was actually from mark diacarno's book that i actually discovered making the banana vinegar so this has been going for about two months now all i've done is crushed two bananas and put it in here. And as you can see, it'll just gas. Clearly see it's been fermenting naturally from the sugars. I'm gonna smell that now. Wow, does truly smell of, of, of vinegar, but also fruit as well. So all I need to do with that is basically filter it. And this is how you make a real premium vinegar that you would normally pay a lot of money for in the shop. So here, yes, it shows you all of the tropical fruits. Yes, as I've just mentioned, the banana vinegar, which is not as common as most of the vinegars. Again, it shows you the berry fruits and anything, pretty much 
As long as there's sugar there, sugar will ferment into alcohol. Then stone fruits. And then we go on to balsamic vinegars. History of balsamics. It's got some wonderful insights here. And also of the Medina region. And then it go, covers it in the kitchen of how to use balsamic vinegar to optimise its use. Different variations of the balsamic. How to choose balsamic. And it goes on to show you some of the best recipes to utilise balsamic vinegar. Roasted beetroot and garlic soup. Squash feta and redaccio salad. Whole roasted onions. I'm looking forward to really trying this. The simplicity of this recipe. Bring out those flavours of the onions. Also another simple recipe I'm looking forward to covering is baked apples with balsamic. Just look at that. Lovely little symbols which shows you the taste profiles. Then we go on to the sherry and cider vinegars. You know, apple and chestnut soup, rich onion soup, which is just a different form of French onion soup. Gazpacho, uh, stuffed red cabbage leaves, stews, plum and redaccio, berries in the chocolate and Pedro Isamis sauce. I don't know how you say that, but I mean, the Spanish really do love the sherry vinegars and that is your signature sherry vinegar. Something I'm looking forward to. It gives you the history of the sherry vinegars here and how they produce that. We go on to wine vinegars by region. It covers Spain, Greece, Italy. Also from all the different types of grapes and how you can make different vinegars from those. And then we go on to the cider vinegars. France to USA to the UK. And then it gives you the terminology you know the health tonic of, of apple cider vinegar and also the health benefits here and then we go into all the wonderful recipes for use of cider vinegar i mean this one looks amazing look at that the wild garlic and oregano samiroglio pickled cucumber with hot spices garlic and bay absolutely incredible it doesn't stop there just with the food it goes on to how to make amazing cocktails pickled pearl onions with a gibson martini which is obviously the classic old onion martini beetroot pickled with dill and orange ricotta basically vinegar it, it, you know cuts through the milk to actually make the cotton that's part of the acidic splitting of the milk also how to use vinegar in in the baking process is soda bread it also shows you you know the, the combination with all lots of different seafood as well you know from pickled salmon poached fish fillets and oysters and then we go on to the grain vinegars very popular here in the uk for malt vinegar but then also how to use is chicory and callaway salad plum and bay japanese shrub which is a shrub is a, it's like a non-alcoholic tonic something very simple as well i'm looking looking forward to covering is pickled whole garlic look at that this is something that i will be covering and something i've tried actually just by fermenting whole garlic in honey i mean look at this Pumpkin soup with anoki mushrooms and black vinegar. It is never ending. And then this is the point when we come on to the Japanese vinegar sauces. This is just epic. If you can get into Japanese food, it's incredible. Something that Nigella recommends is actually this from the Wasabi Company, the San Beizu, which is basically a pure rice vinegar, delicately flavored bonito on kombu. Kombu is actually a type of seaweed, which has that real umami flavor. And that's actually won a great taste award. This is incredible. Japanese and Chinese recipes. Well, look at this there honey and Chinese black vinegar baked figs. And this is the part where it just goes on to looking at the different grain vinegars and the history. Such a really well balanced book this, so giving you the insight, the history. I mean, it's it comes on to the Chinese ancient grains, the different types of Chinese vinegars which you can buy, Korean, and then finally we come on to the malt vinegars. Last but not least, British malt vinegar here, the modern revival of malt vinegar. Just some of the basic things, scallops in malted butter sauce. Some of the basic things you can do with malt vinegar, not just fish and chips, but parched peas with bacon, rocket and lemongrass. These are the kind of things that I really do like. So you've got the salt and vinegar roasted new potatoes. The simplicity of this, just using three or four basic ingredients. Pickled devils on horseback. And then finally, extracted and infused vinegars. You pay a lot of money for these kind of things, buy it and then infuse it yourself. Just with simple things that you like, herbs and spices. You know, even honey vinegar, maple vinegar, pear, thyme, shrub, mint cucumber ribbons, honey slaw and red cabbage and white cabbage. Oysters, absolutely love them. Saffron, roasted potatoes. The majority of this book really is whole food plant-based. And then here it just shows you at the end on how you can use different flowers from lavender, you know, different flowers, elderflower even, your fruit infusions, your herb infusions, the four thieves 
absolutely brilliant. I've, thought, I have tried that. It's amazing. At the end, it's got excellent coverage of raw vinegars. Where to buy your vinegars from reputable suppliers and producers. And then last but not least, it comes to a lovely ending and a bit about the author. Angela herself. So I really do recommend this, the vinegar cupboard. I've got no sponsorship with this. This is a genuine essential book to get. So really do hope you're enjoying the show. Please do subscribe. Lots of love and passion going into this. Hope you've really enjoyed this. Please do put your comments below. Please tell me what you're doing in terms of making vinegar, whether it's something you have experimented with, whether you enjoy different types of vinegars. Really interesting. Please do you know, drop your comments below. Also, please turn on your notifications. Bing! Every fortnight on Tuesdays at half past four. Take care, everyone. Enjoy.